In this video I'll uh, show you quickly how you can adjust the half effect sensors uh, that's the uh, 490 SS that's radiometric um, right now I connected the little uh, I made a temporary contraption so you can see how you can mount the magnets at the sensor itself I put adjustable uh, base for the sensor so you can show you where to set the center one so right now um, this is spring loaded uh, just for uh, the test now so uh, first of all you have to uh, move the sensor uh, one direction all the way you want like uh, on zero one okay and uh, see the, the direction of the magnets it's almost vertical to the camera so I move this so zero if I move it a little more zero will be almost uh, vertical uh, it's horizontal to the camera so uh, the magnets go this way, the sensor is this way, horizontally. You can see it there, the placement, the legs. So I do that first. So uh, I'm sure that one direction is uh, zeroed. Uh, that's actually the, the place that uh, it will be our reference point to start uh, calibrating. So it doesn't matter the high. Uh, number there. Uh, right now it's in full range. The potentiometer there, it's it's all the way turned uh, clockwise. So uh, I'll try it with another normal potentiometer. You can see it's from zero to full range. Okay, I'll put it in the middle so you can see the change on this two, on this uh, potentiometer. I'm not using that. It's just for reference. So I'll uh, take a little screwdriver and I'll start turning this counterclockwise until the number on the screen uh, goes to 1023. It is going to work. Let's. Now it's all the way up. If I move it down now to back to the zero, it should go back to the zero again. There it is. So now I have the full range of the sensor for the movement we want. Uh, you can see here this. This uh, the angle of the motion I have chosen. It's about uh, 45 degrees. It's less than the than the 90 degrees usually uh, you get from this sensor. Uh, but it's enough for uh, uh, positioning uh, or you know uh, small angle simulators. You can mount that uh, sensor directly on. Uh, uh, gimbal and uh, have it measure the angle precisely. After, of course, you calibrate it with a little uh, water. And that uh, the, this calibration, as you can see, is, uh, it does for both uh, the so or sensors. So you'll have the same effect to both of them. The, li the limitation of the motion. So you can see here, I have a bit of range that doesn't show anything but the half down counts up to 1040 so yeah, you can see that piece of range there it's but the down one that's what's happening to the sensor too it's like this, this range now it's dead 
um, that's it's very easy to put uh, some uh, magnets like that it has to be um, close to the sensor this actually these magnets actually it's uh, uh, I got them from radio sack it's uh, this type here 3 and uh, 16 316 inch uh, rare earth ma ma uh, magnets those two of them in there right and uh, now another thing is if you want to uh, have opposite, opposite motion right now you can see you have this motion but say you have to move it uh, get the readings from uh, zero increasing to top uh, to the other direction because this uh, doesn't match. You can do that with potentiometers by changing the power at the ground leads and have the opposite direction of the measurement but with this you have to do a little uh, other trick. You have to rotate the sensor 180 degrees so you rotate it after you have again zero on the top one then you move it down and you get almost 1000 as you can see here it is zero and move it down to almost the same range like before but it's the opposite it's the opposite thing Is. I made uh, this contraption just for reference. You can uh, mount it uh, uh, permanently, uh, a sensor to a point, and uh, just make a little thing to, so you can rotate these or trim the, them to uh, to the point you want, to the rotation angle you want, and then change things uh, uh, by moving the gimbals or. Uh, the sensor so, uh, so you can have exactly the uh, range you want well uh, uh, that's it thank you